Hey there and happy Tuesday. So today I'm bringing you a pretty quick and simple card. Um, I don't know if I really can call it like a fun fold, but there is a little bit of a different cut to make it look a little different for you guys, um, but very easy. So um, for those of you that like fun folds, you might go, oh, this is perfect because it does have a little bit of a different look to it. So um, it's one that I've recently done at some classes and it was a favorite there. And I love the bright paper that is free right now during celebration until the end of this month so um, for those of you that um, are liking the sunny days I know those at the um, recent events um, have really looked at it differently after using it and I love like all of the different papers in there too so um, let me get my camera turned around and then I can give you a better view at what we're going to put together today so let's flipped here and there you can see my card and I'm just going to get my iPad going too so that I can see who's joining in and I can also see if you guys have questions. Hey there Chris, hi Julie, good to have you guys on here. So yes, I see me there, good. Yep, I don't have Mackenzie helping today. I think she's with Grandpa actually. She kind of just, you know, um, likes to go with whoever as long as she can be outside. This has been like the perfect weather for her to be with mom on maternity leave because she's had plenty of time to be exploring outside. She's definitely an outside girl. <laughs> All right. And she loved, she loved um, being able to be here yesterday on my live video too. And um, she told people about that. So that was kind of fun. Okay, so here we have Wishing You a Sweet Day. Like I said, um, this is from, the stamps are from the Sweetest Cherries stamp set, which is from the annual catalog, and it's got a coordinating punch, but I'm not using the punch or really the cherries, just the sentiments, because the sweetness I'm pulling from the fruit, which is actually the piece of paper that has the strawberries on it here. So I thought, oh, that'll be fun, but yet kind of that same color theme there. And I was kind of, um, as I brought out this paper going with the piece that had the cute little cherries on there and I just felt like um with the white background and just those tiny images what I was going for was kind of getting lost in the shuffle so I was kind of trying to pair um, some lighter um, sentiments with white and then it just like I said was kind of getting lost on that so I thought let's pick out a bolder piece and kind of go from there and once I got over that I went oh this card comes together oops, really um, quick and easy so I want you to know that as well okay so here's where I say it's kind of a different fold um, as you can see there's a little bit cut off here I've just cut like an inch off that edge and um, yet with this kind of going over it makes um, for a fun look and those that were at the classes really liked this one I never know what's going to be like a favorite and so it's always good to hear feedback and see that but um, for some of them this did kind of throw them off and so if this is something that you want to copy um, I want to give you like the instructions on that so normally a card would here let me get to my phone folder to give that a good score. Normally my card, you know, would open up this way and it's going to be then um, four and a quarter across that way and five and a half here. So um, what I did after scoring it was just cut an inch off of that. And then um, from the back of one of the different designer series paper like there's more of a kind of a colorful side and more of a pattern side this was petal pink which matches that um, very well too and then I thought it's almost easier to start on the inside um, this way and so I'm just going to take um, this here which is five and a quarter by one inch so I've cut off one inch here um, but like anything I kind of um, scoot it in for the inside and making this white piece four inches here by five and a quarter so this is five and a quarter by one inch and then when I put it in here then there's not going to be a white line. I know recently I did one where I wanted that um, kind of white edge to show like so um, just to give it some more color and such but this is going to get tucked inside there but before I tape that down 
come, I'm just going to set it aside because I'm going to do some stamping. And I always say stamp before taping down. And even this is kind of risky because if this doesn't turn out my sentiment there, then we have to kind of look at, okay, there's the other side and putting on <laughs> another new strip. I think we've all been there, right? So um, for this, um, I took this piece here and I love the glass mat because I forgot what the measurement is, but I can just pull it off to the side. So this is three inches by five and a quarter here of this. And it's got some fun bees, uh, or not bees, butterflies on the other side too. So that's what that looks like. So I'm just going to tape this down on kind of that front flap here of the card and sometimes when it's the same color and cut you kind of lose like where's my edge when it's flat I know even on the camera here you can see once it's open where that goes but when it's down like that it kind of just makes you go all right where did that edge disappear to and how am I going to get this layer on straight and not crooked hello there Yolan from Holland very nice to have you on here it's evening in your in your area I know that okay so I've got that then set down there like so, and now I'm going to do some stamping. So I'm going to pull out my sweet so um, sweet sorbet ink pad here, and then I'm going to take. Yeah, it's so um, nice to have somebody from Holland joining. I just got a letter from my host sister when I lived in Holland. Um, um, she sent out a Valentine letter as well as I did instead of Christmas. And so we've been communicating back and forth from Holland just this week. And it's kind of fun then to see somebody from Holland here. It always warms my heart because it feels like home. <laughs> okay, so from that Sweetest Cherry stamp set, I'm going to stamp out the Wishing You uh, and just leave that. And then next, um, oh, and then this one is, let me look here. This is three-fourths. Just, I just have a long strip, but it's three-fourths inch wide. Hello there, Tabitha. And then I love the big sweet. Doesn't everybody just like a stamp set every once in a while that has really big sentiments? So I'm going to ink that up, and we've got the sweet there in the sweet sorbet ink. And then I'm just going to do that one word day over here on the other edge of this. So we once I get this cut apart, I'm just gonna snip it evenly here with my scissor, wishing you a sweet day. So like I said, there's just um, the sweet sorbet on the white. That's why I thought having kind of a boy, my son's calling, so I am gonna silence that. Um, Hopefully that in, didn't interrupt my video. <laughs> I will call him back ASAP just so you know. I still love him. Okay, so this one, what I did here is I'm just going to layer this on top of some sweet sorbet to give that some extra pop here. And now these pieces, I am taking some dimensionals. And this is going to get popped up, that wishing you... And even day is going to get a couple dimensionals. And now the suite, that's the one that's going to kind of overlap a little bit there. So I'm going to put some dimensionals kind of up to that area, but not um, too far over to the edge um, and risk. I'm actually going to put kind of too close to the edge, but I don't want it to get, if I have a dimensional there, then that's going to seal my card. And we don't want that to happen. And I always try and stress that at events. Like I am my, um, like my own worst card sealer as far as it's very easy for me to um, get carried away putting adhesive on fun folds and sealing my card shut. So we have that. It's popped up, but no dimensionals there to do that. And then let me just take off these. Like I said, this card comes together so quick and easy. And I love um, the Sunny Days free celebration paper. Love, love, love it. And then the day is just going to go down over here. So we kind of have like a staggered bit of greetings there. And now for the inside... Um, in that same set, it says birthday wishes. So this is where I'm going to be really careful. And I'm going to tap that on my sweet sorbet ink and line that up. 
and um, this is where if you are remaking this card, it is nice to have this on first, even though you could mess up with the inking, but it tells you exactly how much space you have left for that. Sometimes people want to get it too far over and then they're going to end up covering that. We did do some um, different cutting because I always say, oh, I can fix just about everything. So did some um, interesting cutting or even added like um, another panel of white to go on top of this and just butt it up against the edge too. So um, people are always curious, like, you know, how do you do that? I say, I, let, I make a lot of mistakes myself, so I'm used to covering them up that way. Okay, so now this is just going to go on the inside like so. So wishing you a sweet birthday. Like I said, it really comes together in minutes, and don't we always love stuff like that? But, of course, I need to embellish it. And um, while I'm talking about, you know, the embellishments and the sweet sorbet color, um, these are the 2022 to 2024 in color pearls. And I can't stress enough, like, because it's celebration and because we know these five colors are going to be retiring soon. Sweet sorbet, starry sky, orchid oasis, Tahitian tide, parakeet party. Um, if you are looking for embellishments like this, these are things before the retiring list comes out we know these will be retiring. So anything ink related, refills, ink pads, markers, blends, um, even like the, the baker's twine. Um, so all of the things related, the card stocks, everything. So um, I have some customers that when celebration hits, they start restocking the color, the in colors that are going to be retiring so that um, when it gets close to the end, they're not disappointed that they waited too long. And then if they order it now, they're going to get something from celebration. So that's a win-win a that way. So I'm just going to put some of these um, sweet sorbet colored pearls on here. And I'm going to put on three because that's always a fun number. And I'm trying to find the strawberries that have um, either the lighter petal pink color or the white because that's going to um, give most notice to the embellishments. If we're putting on embellishments, we want to make them seen, right? Um, so actually, I'm trying to think. I think I want to move. Yeah, I like it a little farther down on that one. There we go. <laughs> Just my personal eye saw that and went, kind of looks kind of a little off. Not that there's a really bad place to put it on the strawberry, but there you go. So here we have quick and easy, um, different kind of a cut and fold um, and using, like I said, that fun celebration paper. So hopefully this is something that will inspire you to um, not be afraid to cut some of your designer series paper. And with this being only like three by five and a quarter, some of you might go, yeah, that's kind of some of those chunks I have laying around. And don't we all have like these one inch strips that we wonder what can we use those um, up with and how to use those. So hopefully that will give you some inspiration there as well too. So, thanks so much for popping in and joining me for some inspiration. Um, so, as I have these supplies um, from the classes I've been doing, my goal is to just show you these online too for those that haven't been able to make it to classes, either schedule or mobility wise, or just the fear of winter. Some people, it is um, kind of hard um, to plan to go out and about, even though we have been so spoiled this winter by having better weather than we have in a very long time um, but it is sometimes too you know hard to commit when you um, aren't uh, comfortable with the drive and different things with winter weather so this is my way of making it up to you but if you need any help with ordering um celebration is just winding down we're kind of in that last week and a half so um, I want to remind you that there's different things that they added again this month besides those in the regular celebration brochure so contact me if you need help um, and I'll get you hooked up with those things that you need thanks so much and have a good night bye-bye